he's innately an outstanding musician. We feel the energy from the podium. It's become a, a sort of a natural transition for me. The word for Michael is absolute inspiration. a natural progression going into the conducting world. I've spent so many years at the other side of the fence, you know, sitting in the orchestra, looking at conductors, surrounded by fabulous musicians in the orchestra. So I know exactly what they're looking for, and I hope that I can give back is my enjoyment of the music that we're making, and we make it together. What you get with Michael on the podium is what you get as a human being. He's very warm and I'm very happy to see that the creative process has been extremely cooperative. He's interested in what we have to say and he builds on it, which creates an immense feeling of respect. It makes me feel very valued with what I do and that's a very important part of conducting is man management and he, he's really getting it right. <laughs> Over the last few years, my life has made a bit of a change, I suppose. Uh, I, I was me a member of the Nash Ensemble, a member of the London Sinfonietta, the principal clarinet with the Philharmonia, a soloist. Um, so I've left all these ensembles. I'm just a, if you like, a soloist. <laughs> and that gives me ample opportunity to concentrate on the conducting. So I'm now really co focusing on the two sides of, of my music making, which is clarinet soloist, and conducting. When the City of London Symphonia asked me to be their principal conductor, of course, I was absolutely shocked, flabbergasted. Funny enough, that it was the first orchestra I ever played with, professional orchestra, going back 30, 35 years with Richard Hickox, the Finzi Clarinet Concerto, and probably the orchestra I've played with most in my life. For them to approach me and ask me to be their principal conductor, following on from Richard Hickox is a great honour. We started working with him uh, a couple of months ago and he is as inspiring a conductor as he is a musician. We're so lucky to have him, to have somebody of that calibre standing up in front of us, either playing his clarinet or conducting or just inspiring us, the City of London Sinfonia. It's, it's just fantastic. <laughs> Working with the orchestra several times now as principal conductor, perhaps I have an idea of, of the sound that I would like the orchestra to have. And maybe with my gestures, my arms and, and just words that I use, suddenly the sound comes together. And I suppose the sound ultimately I'm looking for is a rather luscious, warm chamber orchestra sound. I have to say, I, I am a born romantic and that's how I see things. And I'm, I'm not going to say that when we play Mozart, it's going to be over romantic, not at all. But I, I'm looking for richness of sound. The only difficulty I find is that I get uh, so involved in his playing that I don't always want to play myself. I just want to sit back and listen. He takes risks, you know, he really 
he really does it and he doesn't sit, sit there in the rehearsal working it out. We do it. And the amount of trust that is involved for that, feeling that we are all doing something together and feeling it together, he gets that across very well when he plays the clarinet. Somebody of that calibre, the absolute top of, the, of, of his particular tree, it's just amazing and it, it filters down to us, even at the back of the orchestra in the horn section. We, we can feel that mastery of his instrument and the control he has over it and his innate musicianship and that lifts the entire orchestra. I'm going to be extremely careful how I look at the future with conducting. I have a fascination with a lot of British music, Vaughan Williams symphonies and I shall be conducting The Planets by Holst uh, later this year. I have a very uh, fixed idea of a certain repertoire that I'd like to um, look at. There'll be lots of diverse programmes with new commissions and all these sort of things to look forward to in the future. I think the hardest transition for me will be when I actually leave the clarinet at home and just bring the stick along and, can, and do a whole programme without the clarinet just to conduct the orchestra, which I am doing more of. Bit by bit, gradually, I, I think the audiences around the world will then see me as a conductor in my own right, as it were, as well as a clarinetist, which I have absolutely no intention of stopping. We're very excited about the present and the future to see how he does take the orchestra. The City of London Sinfonia is in great hands with Michael Collins. It really is a very exciting time for us. Watch this space. Thank you.